Welcome back to Chit Chats, everybody. My name is Antonio. My name is Dean, and let's have a chit chat. Chit chat. Let's have a chit chat, everybody. Chit chat ASMR. Welcome, everybody. Do a, do a, do a new playlist of <laughs> <laughs> the Tony verse ASMR channel. Yeah, that's a that's a new channel right there. That's that's or horrible. like there's an audience. Yeah, for get that. out. Yeah, get out your mic and like start cracking eggs on the mic. <laughs> yeah, and, and like right over. That'll be perfect. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know, fucking tapping on, I don't know, yeah, what just it, go, on glass or what, or like, yeah. Does that sound good? Does this sound? Do you like this? Does it's, it sound good? Do you hear anything? I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of ASMR, <laughs> but yeah, I could hear it. Okay, all right. Well, someone out maybe, there, maybe, maybe someone in maybe, the audience would be like, that, that's for me. Maybe, yeah. yeah, and maybe that alone will make them want to watch more of this show. I can't guarantee Here, that that will be in every episode, but. I have a packet of pop tarts. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but let me try and crinkle it. The mic. Like... I cannot hear that. Can't pick that up. <laughs> I can't hear anything. No. Damn, my mic is too good. <laughs> it's too good at blocking at anything but my voice. Yeah. Right. No, that's good. Yeah. This one. All right. Well. Yeah. All right. Well. we'll okay. We'll we'll start. So yeah, let's, let's get into this. <laughs> welcome back, everybody, to Chit Chats. Uh, we have a special episode today, guys, because we have breaking news once again. Guys, today we're going to be going over some local news stories uh, and consider me to be your news anchor for today. And uh, Dean, you are my co-anchor, so welcome. Thank you for being here. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. We have some Much obliged. pretty uh, pretty um, surprising and uh, you know shocking news stories to go over yeah. today. Uh, I hope you're ready. Because these were actually uh, – these were like very controversial topics that have uh, recently come out today. So like – well, this is this. No one else is covering this. It's like in, it's insane. No one else, no one else is covering enough. this stuff. No, no one else is covering this. We're the only producers, and by God, if we don't get at least ten million subscribers by tomorrow, you guys are fans of fake news, and I don't really trust you guys. Yeah, go to Fox News, you fake fans, you yeah. stupid, you sheep. Yeah, you get sheeple. Out of here, yeah, God, get off this. Get off. Sheeple my... only sheeple go to reliable news sources. Okay, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> You yeah. you trust us. Yeah, you only we trust us. We are your us. gods. We, yeah. We are your gods. You listen to us and no one else, all right? No one else. Dean, why don't you take this first story here? Of course. Um, Let's see what we got here. Mm. We're, we're, uh, we're pulling up the receipts, people. I mm -hmm. mean, if you, if you want to be this good uh, and look this good, honestly... You have to uh, you have to take your time with things. You can't take can't rush things too fast. But True words have not that been said. We we will deliver the news in a clear, concise, and efficient manner. Yes, and no one else can top that. All right, news story is up. I don't know if you I don't know if you noticed. Uh oh wait I haven't. Yeah, let me. Oh. <laughs> okay, in, a, in a clear, concise manner, I will switch my stream. There, all right, there you go. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. A local contortionist has truly shocked his fans after completing the seemingly impossible task of eating his own buttocks. Mm -hmm. Sources close to the contortionist, whose identity wishes to remain anonymous, confirmed that he was able to twist and contort his body in a position which allowed him to successfully feed on his own hind end. The stunt reportedly took 20 minutes to complete and the witness to some of his most dedicated supporters. The act may seem gross to some, but is just another groundbreaking performance by this talented artist. This particular flexibility feat is yet another jaw-dropping exploit by what many consider the most talented contortionist in the world. The anonymous contortionist management team says the event was clearly draw more attention to the showman, who believe they can now take his craft to the next level with added notoriety. Although there have been no reports of any health risks associated with the act, medical professionals were consulted ahead of time. So far, all reports indicate that the contortionist is doing well and continuing to grow audiences and death-defying acts. Well, that's good to hear. Well, you know, that's a happy. Truly, idea. yeah, truly, our society is on the up and coming. We are only getting better, people. Yes. Uh, and acts what, like this are 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 going to be new every day. What an impressive feat to to eat his own buttocks! Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm impressed. I've tried that. 
I haven't been able to do it. Yeah, I know. Me, that, yeah. It's just like, I, I think we I, I think we can all say that we've tried it at least once before and most likely yeah. failed. But this guy, you know, this guy found a way. So I'm, I, I'm I, quite impressed. I'm not that flexible. I mean, this guy, what he's done is truly amazing. He, I think, you think he went with the pretzel room maneuver? I've seen a couple people. Uh, who was that famous uh, escape artist uh, back in the day? What, what, what was his name? Uh, uh, I don't recall. He, he tied himself up with chains. Yeah, Houdini. Think, he's like Houdini. Is it Houdini? Can shape oh, and shit. his body. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, and even Houdini, you know, he tried to eat his own ass too, and he and he yeah. got close, but he, you know, not not quite. Say, we can we got combining ass eating with Houdini. You got Poudini, all right? Exactly. exactly. It's a new uh, new celebrity that's Couldn't taken have the scene. Said it better myself. All right, we got another news story here. We gotta we gotta go through all of them. We have we have quite a lot. So let's go on to the next one. I'll take this one. The world of pop culture was. Culture was rocked when a recent article from a popular magazine declared that the iconic M&M's candy mascots were not fuckable. Outrage was swift and widespread, with individuals from all walks of life expressing their disapproval of the derogatory statement on social media. Notable celebrities took to Twitter to voice their anger, with singer Miley Cyrus describing the comment as disgusting, and actor Kumali Nanjiani, I really hope I didn't butcher that name, uh, saying, think, think good. Uh, saying it was deeply sad. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of internet users shared their opinion through viral memes and furious comments. Meanwhile, representatives from, representatives from Mars Incorporated, the company behind M&M's, released a statement condemning the article and calling for respectful discourse across the internet. In response to the backlash, Mars Incorporated has relaunched its online campaigns in support of their lovable characters, hoping to promote acceptance of all shapes, sizes, wrappers, and colors. As the news spread around the globe, various organizations, political leaders, and prominent figures weighed in to express their support for the candy icon and helped raise awareness about an important issue, that being the fuckability of the candy. Uh, the United Nations even joined the chorus of voices standing up against the use of demeaning language online. It's clear that the online discussion has opened a dialogue on the topic of body diversity, with many hoping this incident will serve as a lesson that no one should be judged based solely on looks. For now, it's safe to say that the... And then it just... The, the, the it story ends. ends. That's, the, that's the, it. It was that, shot, it was actually, upset. in the it process for writing There didn't need to be any more. <laughs> I just want to say... I gotta say, it's... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to say, like, you know, this is... What an inspiring message to, uh, you know, to convey about, you know... Considering we're we're on the topic of you know the fuckability of 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 cartoon mascots for a candy brand, I just I think that's inspiring, you know. Yeah, it's uh you know they actually came out with that that purple M M&M and M that really uh, promotes body positivity. I'm glad they're taking the step. It's progressive. And I'm uh I I'm glad to see that they took this issue all the way to the U N. Actually, yeah, they, I know they addressed as they it should. wholeheartedly as they should. You as know, they the- should. I mean. We uh, we obviously know the the UN's bread and butter is body positivity, yeah. and candy, and mascots. like what else do they have to? I mean, that, going that's... on, you know, like what other matters do they have to to um you to know, handle right they're, now? They're... Yeah, this is obviously the most important. You know, we thing. actually we used to have a Twix bar mascot, but it doesn't exist anymore because they it was like a hypersexualized like weird uh, misfiguration of a human body that they contorted and so right. uh the internet uh thank god they they're here uh they actually rallied up and destroyed that mascot and thanks and it was I all hearing about help that. to the yeah. un as well yeah, right yeah yeah uh, it was it was a crazy incident that happened so mm-hmm. i'm glad they took care of it i'm like i'm glad the un's on this me too yeah you know i i'm glad that we're as a as a uh as a nation we're progressing mm-hmm. in a in a positive direction you know what i mean um, all right, Dean. Well, uh, I'm going to have you take this next news story, and I, I will be right back. I'm going to just do something really quick, but you can take this news story while I'm, while I'm gone, and uh, please uh, take it away. Yeah, of course. Um, all right, so Dream, the hot new hip-hop artist, is making headlines for an unexpected purchase. Dream recently revealed on social media that he purchased a cock ring during his recent shopping spree. The gender fluid singer, known for their out there style and daring fashion choices, surprised fans when it was revealed that the cock ring was part of their shopping list. The singer posted a photo of the item on Instagram with the caption, I like to switch it up. 
Dreams fans have mixed reaction about the news, with some expressing their admiration and others questioning their decision. Regardless of the opinions, it looks like Dream is embracing their sexuality and pushing boundaries while remaining unapologetic in their boldness. Dream has been vocal about the acceptance and inclusion, advocating for LGBTQ rights in their work and activism. They have yet to confirm whether or not the cock ring is intended as just a fashion statement or if it's being used for sexual pleasure. I hope we get confirmation about that because I've been wondering yeah. about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm glad more social media people are taking a broader stance on improving inclusive inclusivity, just like with that Eminem one. And I'm glad mm -hmm. the 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 singer Dream. Yeah. The singer, uh, the singer uh, known for their many hits, such as Mask, uh, mm -hmm. is coming out with such a bold statement about their cock ring. I mean, it's it's just incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and some some wouldn't be so uh, so open about about their cock ring, mm -hmm. but you know, Dream Dream has uh, you know he he wasn't afraid. He wasn't afraid to come out and make a statement about it, and you know he likes to switch it up, as the as the story mm -hmm. said. And I admire that, you know. Um, yeah, it's um truly complete. It's a very admirable stance. It is. Um, we love to see it. I think we should all aspire to be more like Dream. Okay, maybe I, I think I that. might. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dream defender. You know what? I might just go out and uh, purchase my own Dream cock ring. Yeah. You know? As I a... heard, I heard he's uh, in response to this, like. Uh, local news fluts about this whole thing he's of actually put uh, the item up on his own uh store page oh no kidding everyone can purchase no kidding now. yeah you know what no as, a, as a symbol of unity and you know standing with dream i think we should all I, we should all buy our own cock ring you know my let, cock stands with dream <laughs> let this be a call to action you know let this be to a everyone. call to action my cock too yes <laughs> Okay. I will also hide my cock behind a mask. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on to our next news story. Uh, let me let me try that again. Um, all right. In what may be one of the most controversial episodes of the beloved children's show Sesame Street, Elmo has been caught wielding a gun and displayed mental instability. The episode, which was filmed for the upcoming season... <laughs> was supposed to be about Elmo exploring his possible call of military service. However, things took a dramatic turn when in the scene, Elmo can be seen holding an unloaded pistol and screaming wildly. Many viewers who have seen the episode are expressing outrage at what they see as a step in the wrong direction, while some view it as, a necessary, as necessary content that helps children understand the effects of mental illness and firearms. Others feel that the program has gone too far. It's just not appropriate for young children, said one viewer. I don't think kids should be exposed to this. However, Sesame Street has denied any accusations of trying to spread fear or promote violence. They stand by their decision and suggested that. And then that the rest is left up to interpretation, I suppose. Um, wow. That is. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. What a. What an interesting episode. What an interesting and bold move. I would Sesame like to see Street. that episode, frankly. Um. I would honest. like to see that too. I, I really think uh, traumatized war veterans need to be represented in Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, I think that's an underrepresented market, and I think that Sesame Street I th I think it is. is the best uh, is the best outlet for um, you know for, you know you know pr pr s s displaying that in yeah. our media. Obviously, yeah. if if uh, honestly, I think they should have done this sooner. I mean, if if they were to come out with this right after the Vietnam War. Things would have probably changed dramatically. It would probably be a more open and inclusive environment. I really thought uh, that that one episode of um, Sesame Street that they kept shielded would have uh, really opened the public up to that idea. Yeah, Sesame Street does have a very big, uh, you know, influence on popular media. So I feel like that would have that would have definitely, uh, you know, kind of changed yeah. the trajectory of history in a sense. Oh, for but, sure. You know, we can only speculate. So, you know, we, we'll never truly know, but. Hopefully, we'll see um, a, a very um, progressive move from Sesame Street in the future. I hope. I hope Similar to see to that. Yes, me. Me too. All right, Dean, if you could please take this next this next right. uh, news story and please read it verbatim. 
Local entrepreneur Brie Crenshaw has just made a splash in the digital space after starting her own successful OnlyFans account. The innovative businesswoman began the account less than two weeks ago, and already it has become one of the most popular and profitable accounts to date. Her account features exclusive content from her day-to-day -day life and acts as an intimate view into her world. With her effortless style and skill, she not only captures viewers' attention, but also their hearts. According to early reports, Bree's account is ranked among the top 1% of creators on the platform, amassing tens of thousands of followers and monthly subscriptions overnight. Breaking records across the web, Bree is showing no signs of slowing down. She's been working diligently to provide new, fresh content and promises to continuously keep her audience entertained. As more people look flock to her page, Bree's OnlyFans has quickly become it's One quickly become indeed. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you know who Brie Crenshaw is. Um but I don't. One, <laughs> she's one of the most. She's one of the most popular people on OnlyFans. She is, yeah. And to this news story, very impressive. This. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I just did a quick, uh, you know, a quick search on who Brie Crenshaw is, and I'm get I'm getting nothing. So she's a uh, she's elusive, you know. Um, she is. She's out there somewhere. They say She's out there cloak and dagger. You you never know. Mm -hmm. uh, she's 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 definitely got some notoriety, and maybe that's why she shielded herself from you know just basic Google's internet searches. You know? I suppose so. Yeah, and uh, yes, she's truly been... there was there was nothing more to that story that could have been uh, yielded. No, no, that was uh, that was that was it. That was enough said. You know what I mean? Like sometimes it's better to be succinct and to the point. And uh, that I agree with in my years of being a news anchor. That's something that I've picked up on, you know, um, mm. and, uh, you know what that that is what it is. Um, but we're going to move on do? to our next move news story. Um, and I'll take this one. Uh, Cody Worrell, a 27 year old entrepreneur and political analyst, has done the unthinkable. He has taken control of the United States of America. In a surprise move, Cody was able to wrest power away from the current administration with minimal bloodshed and create a new government. Cody promises much-needed reform in the government, focusing on social justice, environmental protection, fiscal responsibility, and civil rights. He declared that his vision for America uh, and has already appointed a cabinet that charts a progressive path toward realizing it. Cody's first order of business as the leader of the U.S. was to issue an executive order that strengthens police accountability and increases transparency when it comes to law enforcement practices. He also ordered the implementation of a nationwide health care system to ensure every American has access to quality medical care. Okay. In a... In a in an address to the nation, Cody said, this is my vision for the future, one where we all have equal opportunities. Wow, I am truly, impressed. Truly Cody impressed. Cody Worrell has – he really has done the uh, the unthinkable. And before we continue, I would like to say uh, this news channel is brought to you by the CW Association and all hail Cody Worrell as divine – president of the united states yes please if you will in the audience outstretch your hands with me yes. take my hands i i'm but just going to imagine that everyone watching now is, is doing that yeah mm -hmm. yes thank you for it's like lending me your energy when yes. goku does it we, we so yeah. we are heavily funded by the cw administration and um it truly his vision and his ideas are in the right place to fund us so Yes. Thank you, uh, CW. Thank you, Cody Worrell. We and I hope you bring us with very you. progressive models. Yes, we, we wear our cock with, you, with pride for not just Dream, but you too, Cody Worrell. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are. You too. Yeah. You 27-year-old so, entrepreneur. So little right bloodshed. So little bloodshed. I mean, so there was maybe only a, a couple that's, hundred thousand people killed. That's that's not a whole lot to take over a government. That's admirable. That's you know admirable. what I mean? He could have he could have, you know, had a lot more bloodshed, but he mm. he restrained himself, you know, and we and mm. we and we, you know, we admire you know, that here. And I think I actually heard that is I he he reduced a lot of the bloodshed by just like ripping out one of the guy's eyes and just eating it whole as like a show of force. I did hear about he, that. He really yes. intimidated the public and really got to the way at the top of the government with that. that so thank that's you, Cody, Cody Worrell, for you. Yeah, you know, uh, that twenty-seven year old. 
Uh, I, you know, I got it. He's out there. He's out there somewhere making a difference. All right. Moving on. Dean, if you could please take this next news story. Uh, naturally. Huh? HBO Max, the streaming giant behind hit shows like Secession and Westworld, have committed an unspeakable error in judgment by releasing a terrible adult reboot of the beloved children's cartoon Ed, Ed, and Eddie, titled Plank. The show is said to be more mature, reimagining of the classic Cartoon Network series with a focus on criminal mischief and questionable moral choices. The show's misjudged humor has come under some severe criticism from social media users who have lambasted it it for its unsuitable themes and amateurish nature of its animation. Even fans of the original Ed, Ed and Eddie series have distanced themselves from playing, with many of them calling it not funny and a complete waste of time. Uh, despite the overwhelming negative reviews, HB... Oh, Max appears undetermined. Or oh, what? I'm getting. I'm getting a. We're we're getting a, a breaking news. We're getting a, a an update on the story. It okay. It's uh, uh, okay. Oh, we got it right here. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, got it. Uh, all right. So it appears that HBO Max appears undeterred in its attempts to capitalize on the once beloved cartoon, and are said to be releasing more mature reboots on the streaming service. It remains unclear whether HBO Max intends to continue or discontinue the production of Plank. Man, that's you know, um, I can't believe it. Bold, bold of them. You know, very bold. bold. I mean. So I honestly I don't even know how Cartoon Network is going to continue as a company. First Velma, now Plank. Yeah, it really, it's who's it's next? not looking good for them. Who's next? You uh, know, who's, who's next? Yeah, the, like they're just going know, after they, everyone here. I heard they're going to reboot regular show where they start having sex in like one of the the second episode. Yeah, and it's I just, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, and and, and I couldn't and, believe it. And it's just called Pops, and Pops is it's uh, just called- <laughs> he just fucks in every. In every episode, it's bold. Yeah, you know I what heard, I mean? It's like, they, it's like, and then, like in the third episode, like Benson becomes like a prolific rapist. I mean, it really just. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man, yeah. HBO Max would. HBO Max H- would, man. They they have no restraint. HBO Max. If HBO Max disgusting. hire it's me, disgusting. I'll take a 200k salary to write your shitty shows. All right. Yeah. You know, hell, I'll so, take. I'll take like a 90k salary or a 70k just to write your terrible shows. I'm sure I could do it better than you. I think that yeah, I think they'd do it. You know, they're they're they're, they're scraping at the bottom of the barrel at this point. You know, they need Very someone. Bottom. They need someone to give them some inspiration. I don't know. All right. All hmm. right. I'll take this next one here. Thank you, Antonio. A frightening scene unfolded in a small town of Missouri when a rabid child went on a rampage and bit a pit bull in a fit of rabies-fueled rage. The pit bull, feeling threatened by the crazed child, retaliated in self-defense. The incident unfolded so quickly no one was able to intervene before the bite occurred. The incident has left authorities baffled. It's an incredibly rare situation, said Sheriff Jim Jones of the local police force. This is the first time I've heard of something like this happening. Fortunately, the child was immediately taken to the hospital and admitted for treatment, while the pit bull has already begun receiving a series of vaccinations for rabies prevention. A thorough investigation into the matter is underway. The story has sparked concerns in the small community over how to protect people from rabid animals. We urge anyone who finds themselves in a similar similar situation as the pit bull to get help as soon as... Oh, we're getting more. Hold on. As soon as possible and never try to handle a rabid animal on your own, said Jones. This rare incident serves as an important reminder to always take appropriate steps when dealing with potential rabies cases. So I have Early. a question. Who had the rabies here? Was it the pit bull or the child? Because I don't feel like that was clarified. I think I think with this how this happened is that the child with rabies bit the pit bull, thus giving the pit bull rabies as well, and so the okay. pit bull had to be brought in for treatment along with the child. They I were see. both detained. Okay, I see. Because the way that they're the the, the 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 news outlet is is reporting it to us, or sorry, that the news story is being presented to us, the news outlet. Uh, is kind of implying that the pit bull already had rabies 
when it intervened with the the child but i i feel like that that's false i think yeah that that might be uh, a misreading of the actual prompt yes. but rest assured ladies and gentlemen the scenario is taken care of and both parties are safe in this matter mm-hmm. i just can't believe uh, a child a heinous child would bite uh, a beloved pit bull and i mean you see child attacks are happening more and more by the day you really can't just trust it's, them it's anymore sad. they're too it's dangerous sad. you know and i like it, it's sad it's mm-hmm. sad it really is uh you know i think that's just another reason why children are the worst and uh yeah they're they're useless i think child related uh child related attack deaths are becoming more and more common every year and i think it's i think it's time our president steps up to do something about this we need to start detaining these guys i mean you can't let them go there you just can't let them go rapid i agree we we need to do something about this issue i really hope cody it's actually rated does something about yeah cody CW administration, I, I really hope your uh, next step is to take care of these child attack re- related deaths, which have actually, I think they've actually come up to more deaths, more related deaths than both armed shootings and vehicular manslaughter combined. Yes. So that's a that's a pretty big number. Mm-hmm. We, we need to reduce those numbers. We do. Yeah. But anyways, Antonio, uh, please take this next story. All right. Oh no, you're you'll no, take, no, actually, no, you'll take this next. My, story. my yeah. plug. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. Uh, this will be your last news story, I, I, or I mean, second to last. We'll, we'll we'll do one more after this one. Um, I I mean we we have one more after this one, but yeah, here you can We're take. Very this topical, one. ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right. Famed comedian and actor T.J. Miller has been canceled after sending unsolicited pictures of his feet to fans. The news that Miller has been sending these pictures started circulating on social media after an account called Andromeda Heard posted screenshots of Twitter direct messages from Miller. The messages uh, included pictures of Miller's feet and a request for female fans to send pictures in return. The original post sparked outrage and condemnation from other users, with some saying that the constituted acts of sexual harassment and grooming Following the backlash, Miller released a statement apologizing for his actions and pledging to be better in the future. However, many found the apology insufficient and demanded that Miller face consequences for his behavior. In his response, streaming services such as Hulu, Netflix removed the comedy specials featuring Miller from their libraries, while companies such as Fandango and MoviePass canceled projects in which he was involved. It's about Truly, damn time. That that T.J. It's Miller faced damn time faced consequences for his actions. You know, I mean, not only you know like sending pictures and asking stuff for uh, in return, he's been grooming minors. Yeah, I mean, that's that's we what? can't allow that. CW we, administration, arrest this motherfucker right now. Get him yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah, can we can we can we just cancel him already? I think that between, get him out of here the you know the plague that he's left on the movie industry and now this i think that we have every reason to just kind of forget that tj miller ever existed you know you know if if we can cancel genghis khan for who's already dead we can cancel this motherfucker so let's start acting people this is a call to action yeah you know genghis khan Khan, tj miller they're basically the same guy they're basically the same guy i mean this is this is ridiculous like we we can't have this anymore. No, we really can't. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna end things off here with one more news story, uh, Mr. Dean. This is, and I will warn the audience. This uh, this next news news story is a bit graphic. So please, yes, uh, trigger warning. Avert your children's eyes from the television at this moment. Yeah, avert your your rabies in, induced children uh, from the from the mm-hmm. screen. They, you know, they Get might. them away from your beloved pit bulls. And yes. Be careful. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. In a shocking development, reports indicate that President Donald Trump has recently been caught performing a series of heinous rituals involving the sacrifice of children and small animals to ancient gods. Eyewitness accounts paint a grim picture of a dark ceremony held in a secluded location near the White House in late April. Those present report seeing President Trump with an altar bearing symbols of unknown origin and surrounded by flickering candles and ancient artifacts. Witnesses also allege Trump was heard praying to long-forgotten deities 
as he prepared to make a series of offerings of innocent animal and human life. The police were alerted to the scene, resulting in the apprehension of significant numbers of people who had gathered to witness the event, including the president himself. When approached by the police, Trump allegedly screamed out a chant to an ancient deity before fleeing the scene. Trump's spokespeople released a statement denying his involvement in the grisly ceremony and emphasizing that the allegations are completely false and meant to distract from the important work of the president. The events have sparked a firestorm of controversy with a growing number of concerned citizens calling for an an investigation into the matter. The police have yet to comment more than to confirm that they are actively investigating the incident. Oh, man. What a story that was. Um, I mean, that that is just insane. I mean, really, this is a man who is deprived of everything and will do anything to get his presidential power back from uh, Cody Worrell. But there's nothing he can do at the moment. I mean, apparently Cody Worrell is... You know, apparently this story was reported by someone who thinks he's all, he still is president uh, because, you know, that's how it was presented. Or maybe they're just very, uh, very sure that he's going to gain his presidency back. We might have even uh, gained this uh, information just before the, the coup uh, by Cody Worrell. Right. Uh, all oh, hail true. Cody Worrell. But um, we don't know. Uh, no. Although I, I will say that. Uh, sacrificing um, a lot of small animals and children uh, and his 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 last chant to an ancient deity before fleeing the scene I wonder if that actually summoned anything maybe that brought on Cody that's World, good question is a human deity in the form of a man that's a that's a good point I did I did not consider that but you you know you make a good point um, we may never know the true answer to that uh, hopefully I mean maybe we'll get more development on this as time goes on. Uh, maybe so that we have, you know, I, I, I think we have some, uh, some, uh, you know, investigators on the scene for that. Um, and maybe they'll find some out, some, some insider information, but, uh, we're just going to have to wait and, and see. Um, All right. Yeah. yeah. But in the meantime, that has been our new show, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for being here. Dean, thank you for being my wonderful co-anchor for tonight. Um, I could not have picked a a better person to report this news with. um, Likewise, likewise, my good friend. And uh, yeah, we've been your, your, your news anchors on this, on this wonderful, um, inspiring episode of Chit Chats News. Um, But as they say in the business, that has been our show and that has Mm -hmm. been our Chit Chat. And we will see you guys in the next episode of Chit Chats. Bye-bye. Stay safe. See you, everyone. We are the only independent news source. All hail Cody Worrell. All hail Cody Worrell. Yes. See ya. What?